So what, you, my, my name again? Yeah, let's just start that. Let's again. start again. Yeah. Rand Glucroft. 52 years old. Father, son, husband, son-in-law. Do you think about that? That you don't really have a relationship with your parents sure. that much? Yeah. That's what you, I think my parents might have wanted it that way. Are you closer to your in-laws than your parents? I would say yes to that. Well, I feel he's very caring. I feel very warm and close, and I love him. See, people think he's not thinking and not doing. This man must have been researching this for weeks or months before that. And this is exactly what he said to me. You can do what you do at home and have your own home business. So I'm a medical billing business just like you go to the doctor and you stand at the front desk and you pay your copay and they submit the bill and the doctor gets paid. The difference is I don't call in sick. I don't gab on the telephone. I don't do my laundry while I'm on my working days. I work very long days. And if I have to take off part of a day, I will work at night. I will even work at night if I don't take off part of the day. I enjoy what I do. I'm just completing 12 years. I probably have had contact with a hundred different medical practices. But they're refusing to pay this, saying that it's over the contractual limit. Mm -hmm. That means they only have a certain amount of dollars allotted for them for their physicals or a number of visits. But my suggestion is that if you have... You should have told him. I should have. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Because you're losing out on this because patients mm -hmm. are going to give you a hard time to pay. And you know what he's going to say? Too bad. That's right. Um, I don't think I work more than 60 hours a week. Because on Fridays, I, I try to leave the office no later than 2 o'clock. And I try to not be rushed to make my Friday dinner. I absolutely love being Jewish. And I love the feeling of being Jewish. And I can't imagine being anything but Jewish. So I don't know any other way. I mean, I, I think I would feel like I'm missing something if I didn't do all this. It was, what, two years ago? had my annual physical, and blood results came back saying high sugar. We were shocked because Daddy appears to be this picture of health, and he works out, and he really does watch what he eats. Daddy does not smoke. He doesn't drink. He's not overweight. He doesn't eat white bread. I mean, these are things Daddy had to make very, very few changes. But I can go into Trader Joe's, and I can go into Whole Foods, and I can buy what Daddy needs. And if that's what working like I work for is helps with, I'm fine with that. It makes you more aware of your age and makes you more aware that 65 is much closer than 20 was. Oh, the Jollof Corporation has been around since 1880. It's been a manufacturer of wire. I am Vice President of Finance, or better known as the CFO or any other similar title you want to give it. My responsibilities are more than just the finance and administration of the corporation. It entails inventory control, accounts receivable, accounts payable, company insurance, employee health benefits, legal information technology, risk insurance, personnel, human resources, tenant property management, building maintenance. It's a small family-run business. So I also have to take care of family, private family, financial issues. And putting, um, you will be towed stickers on cars that are parking your parking Ah, uh, yes, a uh, parking attendant. Is it nice to come home every night and dinner's on the table? Sure. Do I require it? No. I'd be glad to share that. Most of the plans come from me. Most of the organization comes from me. Most of the execution of the plans come from me. But I have tremendous confidence that someone else can do it, meaning Daddy. She needs to feel the control in order to 
feel that she is like a good mother, a good wife, a good person, and so forth. His family would not fall apart if one week I didn't food shop. His family would not fall apart if one week I didn't make a list. His family would not fall apart if one week I didn't answer all my emails. But the only part I'm worried about is to make sure that she gets the correct and proper rest after she comes home. That, that's a concern. Because your mother will say, oh, I feel fine today. She'll just run downstairs and work all day when she should be sitting and recuperating. And my response is that I've just finished 30 years of full-time employment. And if after 30 years of working full-time, if I can't take six weeks off, then I think there's something wrong with my thinking. All message played back. Hi, this message is for Fran Glucroft. This is Michelle, one of the nurses at Milford Hospital. I need to speak to you regarding your health history for your procedure on January 2nd. Mom, I don't know what time I have to go there. On Friday, <laughs> why would I lie to you? I'm going to call between 2 and 4 on Friday. They'll give me the time of the surgery, oh, is that and they will tell me what time to be at the but hospital. You didn't tell me that. I did tell you that because I said to you, if it's 8 o'clock, I have to be there at 6.30. All right, don't worry about anything. I'll I'm not worried. I know you'll be fine. I know you'll be fine. All right? All right, I'm fine. And I'll see you tomorrow, okay. around this time or earlier. You'll be a good girl and you'll listen. Everything. I was a little nervous this morning, but, or a lot nervous. And I was up a lot during the night. Hello. Hello. How are you? Okay. How, How are you? good? I'm good. Can you get a kiss? Hi. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, How are you feeling? It's an amazing experience. Did you get all that? I have nothing wrong. Okay. I mean, nothing. I didn't know anything. You woke up. And woke up I, know, I know how you feel. Mary came and leaned over my bed at 10 to 10 and said everything's benign. She left the next day and it was 11.15. And as far as how I'm going to feel without having all those natural hormones, there's, I don't know how I'm going to feel. And I've asked many, many people, both women and men, is there any way to predict, you know, how I'm going to feel? And there is no way to predict. Hello. Hello. I'm good. I'm tired, but I'm tired. Good. Okay. A good tired. That's Not right. a sick tired. You get your hair cut again? No. It's a wish. That's right. It's not bothering me. Ooh, honey. Leave, leave it. You have to get up again? Oh, just put it over I'm going back hopefully to a limited work schedule next week. Well, I'm hoping because honestly, unless I can't hold my head up, what am I going to do all day long? My son goes back to school, so he's not here to entertain me. I don't want my parents sitting and watching me all day long think, uh, enough. Not, not, not an overabundance, because um, a friend came over, and yesterday another friend came over, and um, it's been beautiful. I really do believe that I'm living a life that I did not imagine. Nobody wants to struggle, but it probably doesn't have to kill you. Daddy and I struggled to make a living. We didn't have an every week babysitter because we couldn't afford it. We don't think of ourselves as not having succeeded. I'm happy. Got a family I wished for. A job I'm happy with. I think we're going in the right direction. The thought of mortality is choking. I just think that it's a waste of time to die because you ha you put all this effort into living over the years. Why should it end? That's, That's the best way I can express it. Yeah, it's very, very... You do. You put so much effort into... It's very profound. Oh, I'm such a profound person.